Draft Express here at ASM Pro Day at Impact in Las Vegas. We're here with DJ Nubo of Penn State University. DJ, how was ASM Pro Day for you? Uh, man, ASM Pro Day has been great. Um, this atmosphere is incredible. Um, a lot of great players in the gym. Um, so this is a great atmosphere. What is that environment like? Obviously, you're used to playing in a lot of big games, but with you know, no fans, just scouts and, and GMs and the crowd evaluating you, what is that like? Um, you know, when you first walk in, you're just looking around like, wow, like, you know, everyone's here. Um, but once you step on the court, you know, you kind of zone out and, uh, you know, don't worry about who's in the crowd, who's watching. You're just out there just trying to perform. What do you think you were able to show today that maybe you weren't able to show at Penn State? Um, just, just my ability to, um, to run the point um, and shoot the ball from, from, from three at a high, a high clip. So you see yourself more as a point guard moving forward at the next level, or, or what do you see your role being? Um, definitely um, a lead guard, um, maybe combo, depending on you know what situation I, I end up in. Um, but yeah, definitely a point guard. For people who maybe don't know your game all that well that are watching this video, what can you tell us about DJ Nubel as a player? Um, I'm the most fearless competitor. I'm out there every time I step on the court. Um, you're going to see a lot of leadership. Um, I can do a lot of intangibles. Um, Using pick and roll, passing the ball, scoring the ball, I'm a natural scorer, um, and, and defending the ball. What do you think are the biggest areas where you still have room to improve to maximize your potential? Um, well, just to the NBA game, um, just reading pick and rolls. Um, you know, a lot of times in the NBA, every play comes down to a pick and roll situation. Um, shooting the ball from the outside, um, definitely leadership. How would you describe your experience at Penn State? You, you had a lot of big games against some good competition. Uh, what is that environment like? Um, my, my, <clears throat> I'm sorry. My um, experience at Penn State has been great. Um, you know, got, got a chance to play against a lot of great teams and a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players. Um, so it only helped me out. Um, me being as a competitor, that's what you want. Be on the stage night and night out against the best in the world, well, in college at least, um, just competing. You obviously had a really productive year. Do you feel like seniors and some of the older guys maybe get overlooked or penalized because the draft is kind of trended more toward younger players? Um, I mean, I, 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 would, I would say so. Um, but I feel like the, the NBA guys, they, they didn't know what they were looking for. Um, you know, a lot of times they, they, they see something in the player and understands that maybe he's not it now, but in a few years he'll, he'll be something special. Um, so for me, I, I don't focus on, you know, all that type of stuff. I just try to just focus on what I can focus on and control what I can control. That's coming out here working hard every day and try to perfect my craft. Is there anyone you try and model your game after in the NBA? Um, a, few, a few people. Um, I feel like um, I got a little bit of a Kyle Larry in me, um, but like a mixture of a kind of a, like a Reggie Jackson. Um, well, I, I like well when, when he was in OKC. Um, now he, he has a bigger role now for Detroit, obviously. But um, yeah, those two guys. Do you know how many workouts you've done so far, ballpark number? Um, I think nine. Yeah, I did nine workouts so far. How have those gone? Um, they've they been going great. You know, um, wasn't wasn't nothing that I didn't really expect. A lot of things I did here at Impact um, from training here before the, before the um, pre-draft workouts. So I was kind of, you know, familiar with some of the things we were doing. When did you start playing basketball and why? Um, I started playing when I was 12 years old. Um, because my big brother was a um, streetball legend, so I wanted to be just like him. Okay, what is his background? How did he get into that? Um, he, he just started going to the neighborhood playgrounds and I uh, was just playing basketball, and he was one of the better ones. And where, what area is that? What, what area of the country? Oh, um, Philadelphia, North Philly. So it's, it seems like Philly guys have you know stigma of being very tough, and um, what's your take on the whole Philly basketball scene? Um, definitely. Um, they're, Philly guys are definitely tough, hard-nosed, um, play extremely hard, um, fearless um, competitors. Where do you see yourself five years down the road? Um, five years down the road, um, me, me having a key role on, on someone's um, championship contending team or maybe even a starting position on someone's championship contending team. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Appreciate it.